this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Out here at uh, Blue 162. Smoke a craft. It's six person, 815 pounds. Max horsepower is 90. And it's a Pro Tracer 162. There's a slope back and then the glove box. Got a fuel gauge. I'm gonna go get a, uh, about 10 gallons of uh, non-ethanol. Uh, I can see that's working. Nav light. Wow, that thing's big. That works. Bilge. Bilge works. Live well works. Stanchion's too long. They're gonna have to cut it down, re-glue. It won't even go up underneath the lid. Got the breeze covered top, sides, bag drop. Storage boxes, storage up underneath here. He did get the screen for the back for the live well. And I noticed when I was shifting it, uh, initially they didn't have a, a battery in it. Or check the anchor lights. And this thing here will fold down instead of being way up high. You can just unscrew it and use different stanchions on this. Okay, but one thing, this ain't gonna run. All this stuff here is Corrosion X, but see right here? They've been forgetting this. You need to put that baby on there. You ain't gonna have any, sh oh, they didn't even have, they don't even have the shift hooked up. What the heck? Yeah, none of them. Here's a shift and here's the throttle. Either or, one of those were hooked up and they said it was ready to go to the water and it hasn't even been fired up. Uh, it's got 11 pitch prop on it. You need to slow down. Uh, load guides need to be adjusted. They're way out, bring them in within a finger on each side. I didn't move the boat over a little bit. And I can tell no gas has been through here. There's no gas in the filter. Uh, we got gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white ba bad, like a coffee creamer with a lot of cream, five lug, 80 pound torque, Carlisle tires, ST, ST 17580R13s, double dip galvanized, got two uh, two by four bunks on it, cleats, live well up front, storage here, breeze cover, <coughs> got a swing tongue, just make sure, I'd get a padlock for it, but if you use this to swing it for a garage issue and stuff, just make sure these wires are tucked back in so you don't pinch them. You got cables versus uh, chains. Cables are a lot better. It's a flat four on the trailer wires, two inch with a standard flip. And all, it got bow rails, front light, serial numbers and everything for the trailers under, underneath there. Boat serial number US SMK68120 G021. Freshwater flush. You got internal zincs on these on the block as well. And if you see over here, I believe each one of these, this must be a 40 horse, it's a three cylinder. And anyway, there's zinc, 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 zinc. You got zinc down below, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft. Uh, that's a live well pickup screen using my drain plug. That's the overflow for the live well to come out. This little hole over here. I got a little bit of a reverse chine on it. Motor number's got power tilt here. It's a F40LA68GKL1011105. Is the motor number. And I always put in on this side, no marks, no marks. Boat Doctor out.